Hello everybody and welcome to this guide to Murder on the Border, RuneScape's newest quest and the continuation of the Fort Foreign 3 questline. Begin the quest by heading to the fort and talking to Aster, who is up here in the town hall. If you haven't already, you will need to have done the previous quest, New Foundations, and also built the first tier of all four of the Fort Foreign 3 buildings. So that's the workshop, command centre, chapel, and town hall. If you have a chat to Asta, they will tell you that the king and queen, along with various other nobility, are coming to a banquet, and so we need to build a kitchen. Have a chat to Bill, who's chilling over by the workshop. That will unlock the blueprint for the kitchen. You need a total of six oak frames and six stone wall segments to build it. Materials-wise, that works out to 72 oak planks and 24 limestone bricks. With the blueprint started, the kitchen itself is just on the east side of the town hall up here. It's a fairly quick build to get the first stage done. Once that's completed, talk to Astor again. They will recommend their sister as a cook in a highly dubious display of nepotism. That definitely won't turn out badly. And then once you've finished that conversation, there will be a quest portal in the middle of the town, in the middle of the fort here, which allows you to continue with the quest. If at any point you log out or leave the fort during the quest, you can rejoin it via this portal. You'll get a brief little cutscene of all of the different nobility arriving, and then you'll have an opportunity to chat to a few of them before the banquet. The three groups you need to speak to to progress the quest are as follows. Firstly, on the west side of the town hall, you've got Simon, Rodney, and Duchess Alba. On the east side of the town hall, Duke Horse is talking to your steward, Aster. And finally, up one flight of stairs, you will find the king and queen with the new cook, Bianca. With all of them spoken to, have a chat to Aster to start the banquet. There's a bit of conversation through the banquet, but fairly quickly you'll get to the cutscene of Duke Horse dying. And we have to work out who done it? The puns are real. With the cutscene complete, talk to Asta. They'll be helping you throughout the quest and will give you a mystery journal to keep track of the different clues you'll be picking up. And then for the first phase of this murder mystery investigation, there are a total of eight clues you need to find. Some of them you can find just by interacting with the environment and with people, and others require you to link a previous clue to a suspect. The clues that you want to go through are as follows. Firstly, in the kitchen just next to the town hall, there is a nut roast. Investigate that to get your first clue. While you're here, search the supply drawers next to it and pick up some hollyhock. You can grab the other ingredients if you like, but you don't need them. Head out of the kitchen to the northeast corner of the fort, and you'll find a half-buried box, which turns out to have some jewellery in. If you head just south into the chapel, you'll find the king. Talk to him and go through both conversation options for your third clue. And then if you head all the way over to the west side of the town hall here, there is a strange satchel next to this tree. Investigate it and you'll get a poisons book with a single page torn out. With these four initial clues gathered, we now need to link some of the clues we found to various suspects. Firstly, head over to Bianca, who is standing here just outside the chapel. Select the option to link clue to her, that will bring up your mystery journal, and then click link on the stolen jewellery, that will link that clue to Bianca and get her confession about the jewellery theft. Uh, head to Duchess Alba in the command centre just down here, you want to link the nut roast to her, and finally link the book to Simon. He'll tell you that the missing page is the instructions for a poison detection potion, and he will write down the instructions for you. Once you've gathered that, we want to use it to detect the poison in the meal to get our final clue. If you haven't already, head back to the satchel and investigate it to get a vial of liquid. Use the hollyhock on this base potion, and then take the crafted potion and use it on the range to heat it up. Finally, use the hollyhock poison detection motion on the meal here and select that you want to use it on the pate. You'll determine that the pate was indeed poisoned with hollyhock, giving you your final clue. 
Aster will suggest you head up to the roof to discuss it. Before you head up, if you haven't already, grab some combat equipment and a bit of food if you want to, and then head up to the top floor of the town hall and talk to Aster. Your conversation will get interrupted by an assassin, who will push Aster out of the way and then engage you in combat. It's scaled to your level, so it should be a fairly straightforward fight, but again, do bring food if you need it. Once you've defeated the assassin, talk to Aster, and then investigate the assassin's body to get the first clue of the second phase of the quest. Heading back down into the courtyard, you'll find that Simon has been killed by some dark beasts, and if you talk to the king and queen there, you will enter the second phase of our investigation. Once more, there are a number of clues that we need to find, some just lying around, some requiring, some requiring linking previous clues to the suspects. The ones you want are as follows. The first clue you've already got is the letter you found on the assassin. For the second clue, head round to the north side of the chapel, and you'll find a strange seal on the ground just here. From asking around, you'll find that Iris was behind the chapel, so go and link this clue to her. She will give you an amulet of spaniel speak, which you can then link to Princess, in order for Princess to aid you in your investigation. There are three things that Princess wants you to find. If you talk to her, she'll give you a compass clue to tell you where you need to go to find each clue, but the ones you want are as follows. Firstly, if you head just to the north of the workshop here, she will dig up a collection of useless objects. For her next clue, she takes you into the middle of the fort here and will suspect the queen. Have a quick chat to the queen there and then move on to the third clue, which is the actually useful one. Princess will take you into the chapel here and find a hidden coffer. If you investigate that, you'll get a Zamorakian badge and a sealed letter. You want to link this clue to Duchess Alba, so find her in the command centre and ask about her beef with the king. And with the final couple of clues, head north into the town hall, investigate the burnt parchment by the fire. You'll find it's the remains of the Duke's will, which you want to link to Rodney, who is standing by the entrance to the workshop over here. Finally, you'll want to talk to, first of all, Bianca, and then Queen Elamaria. Ask the Queen about her friendship with Bianca to give you your eighth and final clue. With all of this complete, you've got everything you need to conclude your investigation. Talk to Aster, who will gather the guests in the courtyard, and then talk to the king and queen to begin your final grand reveal. You'll go through four pieces of evidence. In each, you'll get a list of three options which you can select from to explain your reasoning as to how this all ties into the grander mystery. As far as I can tell from trying out a few different options here, it doesn't actually matter what you select, because if you choose the wrong one, Aster will correct you with the required information. But if you do want to get it right, then the answers you want are as follows. Firstly, Simon's satchel, option number three, it was found on the King's Road and used to frame Simon. Secondly, the motive behind the attack, option number two, the murderer was actually trying to poison the King. For the third question, the specification that Aster shouldn't be targeted, you want option one, it was an excuse to protect you. And finally, for the motive behind the whole scheme, you want to select option number three, to take revenge on Queen Elamaria. With all these elements correctly linked, you will reveal that it was indeed Bianca Dunnett who done it. And once you've made your way through that conversation, you can talk to any of the guests if you want to, or finally talk to the king himself to end the banquet. To wrap up the quest, first of all talk to Aster in your town hall, and then go and find Rodney, who will be over in the kitchen, and talk to him to complete the quest. You get an experience lamp and a construction lamp, and also unlock the ability to build further tiers of the kitchen. The first tier of the kitchen gives you the incredibly exciting reward of being able to cut through cobwebs in the wilderness, which will be a very nice quality of life improvement. Tiers 2 and 3 give you bonuses to cooking in the kitchen, with the final tier also letting you create port soups in the kitchen rather than having to go to your player-owned port. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will see you for the next video.